Yeah, hi everyone, because it's like 10.30 at night and all we want to talk about is what is DARPA doing in cryptography, so why not? Um, okay, so uh, hi, I'm Josh, I'm a program manager at DARPA. I run uh, DARPA's cryptographic programs. Um, there are quite uh, a number of them at this point. So um, there's a program called Safeware, which just ended this year on um, indistinguishability obfuscation. I'll just leave that one there. Um, so Brandeis uh, ends uh, next year. Uh, from a cryptographic standpoint, uh, it's focused on, uh, among other things, kind of MPC with uh, low party, so like 10 or fewer and moderate complexity computation, but like practical applications. So as an example at Rural Crypto, we talked about like assigning um, ships to ports in like a couple of seconds, uh, where you didn't want to reveal the underlying ship locations or their speeds. Uh, we're doing a lot of stuff involving like information deconfliction. It's, it's fun stuff. Okay. Uh, a program that just started this year, in fact, a couple months ago, is called um, Resilient Anonymous Communication for Everyone. Um, it's kind of if like Tor and Signal had a baby, so the way to think of it is, um, can we do end-to-end -end encrypted metadata secure messenger and do it by actually having MPC as the kind of underlying distributed system uh, so that the underlying kind of message passing system in and of itself doesn't know what it's doing. Um, so, you know, that might work, um, but it involves a massive party MPC, but doing like very basic things. So the kind of message allocation is not hopefully substantially more complicated than like coin tossing. Um, Two things that are ongoing. Um, there's a program that's on the, uh, that's uh, been publicly announced called Civ, uh, which has a giant name that I'm not going to say right now, um, and it's all about zero knowledge, uh, specifically uh, zero knowledge for uh, large complex problems. Um, basically, uh, task one is build the actual problem statements for weird and interesting problems, um, do the actual proofs, uh, and then post quantum zero knowledge. There's a lot more to say about it, and if you're curious, um, check out the BAA, which is this giant link, or probably you should just Google DARPA Civ. Uh, and, see, and see what you can find. Uh, notably, the due date for the proposals are a month from today. Um, so if this is a program you hadn't heard about yet, um, surprise. Um, we're doing a zero knowledge program, it should be fun. Um, uh, okay, uh, and finally, uh, I wanna talk briefly about the DARPA Young Faculty Award. So um, for our definition of young is actually apparently a little broad. So uh, to be eligible, you have to be a tenure track faculty uh, at a US institution within three years of tenure or more junior. So interestingly, uh, you can be a non-US citizen at a US institution. Uh, it turns out you actually can't be a US citizen at a non-US institution. I don't know why that is. Um, and it's uh, up to $500,000 for the first two years. Um, you should be checking out uh, fbo.gov or darpa.mil uh, for the announcement, which I actually think is gonna be out tomorrow uh, with a due date uh, once you see the announcement uh, within a month or two. Uh, I'm mentioning this because there will be a topic in cryptography, uh, specifically in the Young Faculty Award, um, the title of which is uh, Economic Driven Secure Multi-Party Computation. So basically the way to think of it is um, one of the interesting things that kind of Bitcoin taught us is you can take uh, frankly, somewhat trivial crypto, right? So like ECDSA, SHA-2, and the like. Uh, and then you bribe people, and then because of the bribing, you can make massive secure computation, right? Massive distributed secure computation. Um, so that start, tends to tell us that like maybe this whole like economic utility thing might have relevance when we want to think about kind of large-scale distributed computation. Uh, so this Young Faculty Award will be specifically about that. Um, please don't come at me with like a covert or a fairness thing that we've known about for a very long time. The point is to actually be pretty broad and general about um, kind of trying to marry uh, kind of economics with distributed computation. Um, should be fun, what could possibly go wrong? Um, if you have thoughts um, about, you know, what DARPA is doing right, or probably more interestingly, what DARPA is doing wrong in cryptography, um, feel free to um, find me and yell politely uh, and tell me the kinds of things that you think we should be addressing uh, but are not. So thank you.